Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I've been commissioned to make another shepherd's hut, but this one's going to be a little different. It's going to be split in two and have a bathroom in each side. I bought these two sinks and now I need to make some pedestals for them to sit on. They can just be wall mounted, but I want to make the pedestals because it will hide away all the pipe work and also I need to fit a water heater underneath them. To make the frame from the cabinet, I'm using my Triton dial joiner which is a basically a poor man's festival domino and I'm a very poor man. I've had this machine a couple of years now and I feel there's real technique to using it because it's not the most precise thing but after using it on quite a few projects I feel I'm getting good results with it now. These cabinets can be very simple, they're basically made up of two sides no bottom because that would be the floor, no top because that would be the sink, the front will be a door and no back because they're going to be either side of a wall from each other so the back of one cabinet will open into the other one. To do it dried on the side frames I use the router to route out a rabbit. Obviously router bits are round so they leave round corners so I just use a chisel to square them up. I'm a bit of a hoarder and I kept all the scraps of tongue roof cladding from the interior of the old hut and now I'm glad I did, as I can use all this cladding to fill in the panels for the sides and the door. With the sides done, it was just a question of joining them together to actually form a cabinet. This got done exactly the same way of just gluing them together with some dowels. You can see at the front I've got two cross pieces, this is going to go above and below the door and at the back just one piece as these are going to get screwed to the wall so they're going to be quite rigid as they are. With the dowel sometimes you just need to use a little bit of gentle persuasion. With the shape of the cabinet formed I can now make the door, this is just exactly the same process of gluing and using the dowels to put it together. Dowels work rather well for doors because of the nature of them they pull everything square. This height is going to go on a campsite and it's going to have a water heater in this cabinet so it needs to be lockable so the campers can't get in and play with any settings. I had some of these brass barrel window locks sitting around so I thought I'd use them up in this project. I've done some more cladding to do the door but this time I laid it vertically rather than horizontally just for a little bit of interest. With all the woodworking done, I gave it all a sand down before I could apply some paint. This is a sage green paint chosen by the client and it's going to match the steps and the doors of the hut. The doors of the hut have these black hinges, just a slightly bigger. So I'm making these cabinets painted the same colour and with the same hardware so they look like mini versions of the main doors. hardware in place that's them all done. Here you can see it in the hut with the water heater and the sink in place. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.